The Grapevine Podcast is sponsored by ID Rum. To purchase your bottles, go to www.imdrinking.uk. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Grapevine Podcast. We'd like to welcome our guest, as you can see, we, we are joined today by... Dylan Duffus. Hello everybody. Thank you for having me, ladies. No yes. problem, no problem. Thank you for coming on. No problem. No Being problem. a guest. I'm, I'm honoured. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, we're at location today. We're not at our normal studio setting. No, we're not mm-hmm. in the studio at all, actually. At all. We're, we're at my boudoir. Oh, the boudoir, <laughs> hey. Channel As seven. you can see. Channel 7 Bar and Grill. Um, Do you want to give them the address? Yes, it is Costa Factory. So if you're ever down at the Costa Factory, just up the road from Ghetto Golf, come and check us out. Channel 7 Bar and Grill, come and have a drink with me Cam- and drink some camel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And for all you out of towners, that is Birmingham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Birmingham is best. We'll put all the um, tags on there anyway. Yeah. That's exactly it. So, yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Um, we just literally wanted to touch base with you, really, because you are jack of all trades. Something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, you've done a lot over the years. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you are actor. Yes. Hey. Entrepreneur. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously, you've, um, you, you're, you know, you're a businessman. You've got this beautiful place Thank you. now as well. So, and you've got your uh, your drinks brand as well. Yes. So, yeah, we're just gonna delve a little bit into everything that you Hi, do. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, we just really wanted to start off with, um, you know, your obviously your acting career and everything. Yeah. So, could you tell us a little bit about your journey, how it started, what inspired you to actually start your acting career? All right. From when I've been a child, I've always said to my friends, I'm going to make movies, you know, I'm going to be in the movies, man. I get my voice felt like it's something that I could do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody used to laugh at me, oh, I mean, you know, film D boy, stop chatting rubbish. And then, like, I was getting into trouble in 2007, 2006, I was thinking I need to mm-hmm. change my life. And I watched something called Bullet Boy. Yeah. Oh, and when yeah, I, I remember that. That, that was yeah, Asher D, right? Yeah, yeah, and I watched and I thought, I could do this. <laughs> big up Asher D. You get me big up Asher D all the time. Yeah. I was thinking yes. I could do something like this. And then, you know, I'm, I'm, my mum's cousin, Van Lee Burke, is a photographer. Check mm. out his stuff. He says that he was doing a course on movie making. So I said, I'm going to come to the course. Obviously, I'm not that academic. I find it difficult writing and reading and writing. I didn't go to school, so all them kind of things are kind of difficult for me. So mm. I was thinking courses, that's long. And then a lady named Penny Wilcox, she came into Birmingham and she was doing research because something happened to her, she was robbed and she was trying to get into the mindset of how do these people think, why would they even want to, because she was mugged on the road, she's thinking what kind of, what kind of mindset it was. Why and then she came, yeah, so she's doing her research and she came to Birmingham, she started off in Newtown Aston, they thought she was the police. Oh, and wow. then because I was introduced through a family member from my mom's family and um, I was more open with her, so we sat down, had a conversation and that's how One Day was created. Okay. And I wasn't going to act in there, I just was helping out in the auditions and whatnot because I knew the script, I was helping out in the auditions and whatnot and Penny says you might as well have the lead role and then there you go, Flash. And Flash came about, about, so that's, yes. yeah. Ah, so obviously. Was one yeah, so there's no, I haven't got the formula everybody but that's exactly how <laughs> yeah. it happened for me, you know okay. I mean? I've just been chasing the dream ever since I fell in love with it. Mm. I got the acting board and I thought, you know something, I, I, I love doing this, I want to do it every day. It hasn't been diff- it's very difficult to tell the yeah, truth it's hard imagine. extreme highs and extreme lows and the breaks between films and whatnot so you have to yeah. maintain and then the struggle but I, I think if you're alive and that and you've got a dream chase it no of matter course. what chase it i mean is there a big thing. difference between acting when you started and now like yeah now i've got credits so they'll have to pay me a little bit more and it's called <laughs> equity. Acting equity now i've got a few credits and whatnot you get me lead roles and all of that there you get me, i'll get a little bit more extra Built pay um, yeah, acting portfolio now, haven't yes, you? Yes, I obviously, have. Since one day, then there was obviously the two intent movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've done a few films. I've done um, television as well. The um, Line of Duty as well. I mean, Line of Duty. So I've done yeah. a few films and a few other films as well. So yeah, I've done quite a bit. But I've just finished. Well, we've just finished um, post production on my um, my new movie called Trapping, starring Abracadabra, Bando K, C nice. Biz, there's loads of people in there. I mean, that will be dropping in October, fingers crossed. And that was going to be one of our questions as well. Okay. When is that dropping? That's yes. dropping in October. So <laughs> that's, that's the first long. one. Yeah, that's that not long. long. Not, not long. You should see the trailer and that coming real soon. So this is mm. the first one that I've executive produced and Rick, what, we, um, Penny's the cult, me and Penny call Rick this one. So you so come yeah. back together for this? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. nice. obviously she's started your journey and now yeah. you're yeah, of course, continuing. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Trying to get the bag because obviously the money didn't come from one day because it was bootlegged and, you know, there was all over the place a for the film. Actually, yeah, one bag of drama, please mm. stopping it from going to the cinemas. 
saying that we was um, highlighting gang life and this, that, and the third and it's whatnot. Reality, it was mad though. going back to when it came out. Mm -hmm. There was a whole madness surrounding mm -hmm. it. Yeah, and mad. they made it way, 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 way it's more violent than what it really was. was. was, it was mm -hmm. a musical. It's a bloody exactly. musical. It was. It was. If you've seen half the film, it's a grease lightning. Come on, man. Just, you know, hands were styled. It was what it was. But yeah, so fingers crossed now we can make some money off this and get me, she can recoup and get me, get what the bag that she's supposed to get me and get me from back then. But fingers crossed. So people, please come and support. It. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is all independent. You get me all of these films from the intense to this that it's all done independently. So it's us putting our money to be able to make these films. So please, when you see it, come and support it the right yeah. way. I'm sure they will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because anybody who's seen those movies mm -hmm. and enjoyed them mm -hmm. will naturally just support and especially Birmingham people as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, Do you definitely. find that um you get a lot of Birmingham people supporting you? I get a lot of love from Birmingham, like I said, yeah, I can't not the good. city. Yeah. It's just like I said, all of this is new in it, so there isn't there isn't like it's um, you get me to filmmaker. There's a few of us now. You get me, but doing it. Yeah, it's 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 um. Burning more support, man. I can't knock it, man. I've never had a, from I've made a film. It's always been love. And like I said, we did a documentary one mile away and all these other things, and, mm. and it's been you know we've always had a lot of love. What's making you stay independent, though? It's making us stay independent because, mm. to tell the truth, I would take the bag off them if they was giving away the money. But at mm. the same time, they don't see. Remember, black people only four percent of in the UK. Yeah. Mm. So for them, it's not really. Oh. Now they're understanding it with Top Boy and certain things yeah. coming out, yeah. so yeah, it's yeah, open. Yeah. So they understand that there's a market there's for a it, market but for, it. for them it's a risky investment. Mm. You understand? Like they were in the nineties. You remember when like Boys in the Hood and all them kind of things came it's out? All back American, then. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. that, that it was, was back. But that's where we are in the UK yeah. right now. So we're at that time, so it's better to be we're independent. Far, as well. We're far behind, behind because <laughs> Boys in the Hood was what ninety two or something. But this is the, my point. Like there's yeah. no, but there hasn't been a consistently been film. A yeah, films and then you get me then the push and then even the culture, even the music. There's not been a time. There's never been a time like this in the UK. People actually making money from the music yeah. from the movies from everything so because the uk like everybody would listen to just everything from the states mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you know we can't we grew up on stuff from the states of course, yeah. consistently like mm -hmm. throughout the 90s and whatnot mm -hmm. but now the uk music scene has blown like yeah. ridiculously yeah. and we can say now that we listen to maybe 40% UK stuff and mm -hmm. <laughs> if I'm in a club I will play yeah bit. I'm still at old school like I like my old school kind of I can of tell because when we walked in we got that vibe it was old school it was nice but that was our yeah, era yeah, as yeah, well you're yeah, an 80s baby yeah, I'm an 80s baby yeah. man 80s baby there. so yeah, yeah that go. was the best time man you get me in the 90s that R&B and that vibe and that feel yeah it was it's still from the it's from the soul but you don't really get that with the new stuff I don't feel that doesn't touch me doesn't give me goosebumps and that when I hear it you know that doesn't make me want to fall in love you know it's different man different that's true so what's the soundtrack sounding like to trapping then is it well, trapping be? is it is full on just like the first uk drill kind of film though yeah. but the, i try to use we try to use the sound that's music with a bit more soul so everything kind of correlates with the film kind of mm. so you'll feel it you'll definitely feel it. yeah. it's emotional because it's not about everybody to trapping and that the text that tells the exploit and um, talks about the exploitation of these young kids that are getting sent on these county lines. Yeah. So it's more to make the kids understand this isn't something you really want to get into. So there's yeah. no glamorization. It's no kind of like this is cool. There's nothing That's like a that. Really it's, good it's, story. it's a very good story. You understand it's hitting them where they're supposed to be hit because at the moment it's trapping, trapping, trapping. Mm. Every become an occupation. Yeah. We used to go. I went to a school because we worked in schools and whatnot. And Zimbo and everybody was working in school and they asked the kids, "How many of you been approached to go on, on the county line?" And then there's 31 in the class and 30 of the kids put their hands up. Oh, you choking? So, Can, am I allowed to ask um, whereabouts yeah. the school was? Birmingham based. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna, we're not gonna, we're not gonna no, I'm not going to ask the name of yeah, the yeah, school. Yeah, I know you're not allowed was, to yeah. it. Was, it was um, Birmingham, it was kind of close city centre, so it was okay. in a city. So it was mm. in a city, city school. Mm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I was going to ask, really, what sides of Birmingham it was, but that makes sense. But it happens more than we think. It, it really does. Yeah. It's a shame. And it's not it's highlighted enough, so it's good. It's good that you good way of highlighting it, isn't it? That's what I'm actually was. really looking forward to that. Yeah, I grew up around <laughs> that kind of stuff, so I understand it probably yeah. a bit yeah. more than most. You know, yeah. So it's, it's exploitation to the kids. Be careful what you get yourself into. Yeah. yeah. That's the truth of it. It's a long, dark rabbit hole. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Entrepreneur, you need to tell us a bit about this camel movement. Yes. So it's a little bit of a movement, you know. All right, yes. This is what hopefully it is. Um, camel, it's more than it's a lifestyle. Isn't it? Camel, so mm. camel now. Um, camel vodka, nine time filled to seven time distilled. Classes, one of the top ten vodkas in the world by Forbes magazine. Probably. Oh? Well, put it like this, a lot of the other vodka brands, they came into a competition last year and yeah. most of them got silvers, golds, and whatnot. But, and we was the only one to get masters. So nice. all of the top br brands you could imagine was involved and we're the only one who got the vodka master. So the fluid and the liquid is top, top 10. 
like it. And as you can see, packaging is 10, 10. The packaging looks it good. Is. I like the mm -hmm. variety, the mm -hmm. colourful, yes. you know, the, um, yeah. the camouflage yeah. and everything. Yes. Yeah, I like and, it. And the concept behind the camouflage, every day, no matter what, we have to get up in the morning, no matter what we do, put our camouflage out and we go out and we do what we do, whatever it's work, oh, whatever. Like whatever. That. It's a behind it, yeah, like so that. It's just the camel, so yeah. So in the <laughs> night time, you can continue with the camel and pick a flavour and whatever vibe you're running. <laughs> it's kind of continue with the camouflage, but yeah. That's what okay. it was. And so it's what universal. Is the red one? Because the red yes. flavor is Sophie likes red. Red, 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 very, red, very Red's soft. My favorite yeah. color. So these are kabooms. Okay. So if you've got an ice bucket, you can just put these in your ice bucket. Oh, okay. You see that people? So a little bomb. So these are like, Ooh. like, like, um, I mean, it's like single shots basically. Oh, yeah. So you can take these and you can drop them in your ice bucket and whatnot and just keep them in. Or you mm. can give them out or for student parties or for whatnot. I was going to say, barbecues. the students will love those. Yeah. yeah. So they're coming packs of six. And then we have pouches as well, bigger pouches. I don't have no pouch on me at this present moment. Then we have the bottles. We have red berry tropical, uh -huh. original kiwi, blueberry, nice. and vanilla, which I haven't got on the thing, but I've got a blue, blueberry you one of these. Yeah. Yes, That's do. different. Blueberry that is different, vanilla. actually. I want you about to taste on camera, though. You I feel like I want to taste, taste it on one. camera. Yeah, taste on camera. No, you can just open these because Thank it's resealing. You. you can take, you can take a sip and you get me. Tell me what you think, ladies. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you think. <laughs> I'm very ladylike. <laughs> Let's not, not, not like it too much. <laughs> Oi, that's strong, it's nice though. That's more ish, that is. Yes, 40%. <laughs> remember, it licks the back of it your throat, does. but it's smooth. the flavour's there. Yeah, I, I, for vodka, it's very smooth. Because I'm, I'm not a vodka person at mm -hmm. all. But the flavour is nice. There's, yeah. there's no chaser in there, that's just 40% mm. volume alcohol. You meant to chase it and whatnot if yeah, you're yeah, going to yeah. drink on a normal day, but just. These are one. cute though. Yeah. They are. Chicken fillet like say, that. you can sneak them in the club, whatever you want, ladies, you can get them in there. Yeah, there. I've never seen nothing like that. But. Yeah. You can't be right if they come in here with them yeah. though. Ooh. So that's the camel vodka. We do like see so if you drink, like I said, compared to other vodkas, the liquid is top, top 10. No, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah, like it's it. a good look, and everyone's talking about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. like all men, over my, my media. Very yeah, popular Lady Lisa, Lady Lisa, yeah. Mm, it's me yes. dancing that to the full, trying to promo my thing. You've probably seen the videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going crazy, but that's just me. Let me be me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let me live, bruh. <laughs> but it is, I feel like everyone in Birmingham has picked up on it, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have. Mm -hmm. And you've seen everybody kind of mm -hmm. doing their little photo bombs of it. It's yeah, nice, yeah, it's a good yeah. look. We'll do a little something, something for you. So you like the camo man? That's what you're getting called, the camo man? Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's takeover. You have to understand, like, why? Because it's, it's legal. Like I said, everybody's talking about back to the trapping. Like I said, it's legal, though. Mm, exactly. It's, it's yeah. legal. It is a drug, no matter what. So always remember, alcohol is a drug. People so drink responsibly. But this is, you know, there's many <laughs> yeah, ways to hustle. Too. You get me? There's many struggle. ways to hustle. <laughs> strong. <laughs> but I'm a lightweight, so yeah. I would say that you struggle yeah, still. Yeah. It is. But it is. there's a lot of people that like vodka. Mm -hmm. I would say it is nice because it's got the flavour to it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, man. People, you know where to go. Get your, you, I've Camel got a website vodka, and everything, yeah, haven't and you'll you? Be, yeah, be in the shop. You'll be in all the shops around you, um, well, locally soon. And if you haven't got it in the shop, go and ask your shop people why they haven't got it in terms of going get it from the warehouse because <laughs> it's oh. everywhere. We are Is everywhere. It? It's in all We're the shops. officially outside, baby. Outside. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant. <laughs> and you know what? It's still summertime, so do you feel like you're getting a lot of people like buy for their barbecues and things like that yeah, as well? Yeah, so we've been barbecues, festivals, yeah. all them kind of things. So have you done festivals? Yeah, I've done a festival over there. It was at the um, Wales, the Welsh Reggae um, re reggae Rhythm Festival. Nice. Me, yes, it was, it was real nice. Maxi Priest, there was a whole lot of artists there. Was Luciano, there? Luciano was there. Yeah, Luciano's everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, you know. Artists, just saw him the other day in Big artist, you get me? outside you get me he's, he's getting the money while he's in england you can't not the hustle inside but yeah he's outside she, she is very he get me delicate tennis get me the man said he's not gonna do too much jumping up and down because he's raining i was thinking please just don't do too much jumping up and down at all big man just chill out and relax it's cool but yeah take time take time <laughs> no but that's definitely I a good look when i'm them ages hopefully i'm on the stage jumping up and down and being a man that's and living my best life too. no you yeah. have to man you have to angel ain't nothing but a number for real for real so what else are you adding to this empire you got going on here? Empire, what we've got going on right now. Mm -hmm. So it's domination with this, it's the films and that. Hopefully we can, from this um, bar as well, hopefully like we can get a nightclub going. There's many things, there's many things. It's just execution. I love the hustle and I always have to have something to do. That's what keeps me um, out of trouble. Yeah. So I'm just trying to stay occupied. But it's films, alcohol, entertainment, entertainment business, all corners of entertainment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to round up and tie it all into one. 
somehow, some way. Mm. So even in the films, you'll see private places in the camel vodka, you'll see this, that, and the third. Everything, everything inter intertwines from yeah. the bars to the clubs to yeah, the yeah, yeah. everything is tied together. So it's getting there, isn't yeah, it? It's it's getting yeah. getting yeah. there. We're getting there. Definitely getting there. It's been a long, hard struggle. Don't get yeah. it twisted. You get me. And everything ain't how it's supposed to be. But mm. we're getting there. We're grinding. But nothing so, worth nice. having is not hard work, though. Come on, like, it comes you, overnight. You're right. You have to work hard at it. Definitely. Otherwise, it's just not going to be worth it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've we've been on this podcasting journey, and mm -hmm. we've definitely like seen a whole nother level of life mm -hmm. a different side Definitely. of life it's been it's, different do you know what i mean our life just gone <laughs> and the <laughs> thing, thing for us is that you know you're never too old because we've just turned 40 yeah, so yeah. it's just like yeah. we, we should be like cooling down oh, but nah, everything's nah, going nah, nah, nah. i think you get me 40 and you 20 man no one down there so that's, 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 that's what they mean yeah, when yeah, they yeah. say life that. begins you hear people say it and you're just like I think we're more balanced, more our minds are more in a better place. We kind of understand Wait, stuff like the are you psychology. That you're 42. I'm 40. I'm old. I'm, I'm old. I'm, I'm, I'm 81, baby. Over. I'm 81. What if you can do it? I'll leave so you to do the math. 40, unless your birthday's been already. Oh, yeah, my birthday is 41. Yeah. April, yeah. yeah. Oh, April, nice. So, yeah, I'm a big mm. boy now, you know, like that. So it's time for me to be act responsible in that. It's sort of but it's true. Out. Something happens at 40. You do yeah, feel. It does. Yeah, as a man as well, like I said, does I it? wouldn't. Yeah, women don't understand it. This is the most stable of. Well, well, not in my head anyway. Not midlife me. crisis I'm, time, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm calm. Yeah. You get me some more stable. I've been in my old life. You haven't bought a motorbike or anything? No, no, no. I think it's dangerous. <laughs> I'm still here. Yeah. I've, I've, I've been dropped up in for a long time, baby. That's just normal. I don't, I don't want the car for my kids. They can't not have another two-seater, Dad. You can't take us nowhere. Oh, my God. It's just, I've been buying it for you, You have though. not got a two-seater. I usually, I usually, I've been buying two seats for all of my kids. Like now, I'm gonna buy something more big and that all grown. Get them That's for, hilarious. Just me and my princess for all around. Me, but yeah. Yeah. Aww, that's nice. my, 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 my two baby, my three baby girls, but yeah. That's three nice. baby girls we've got. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. hilarious though, because many of you mention your name, they always go, who's the one with the bag of kids, man? <laughs> the ten of them. Bagger kids. The whole ten of them. The whole ten. Of kids. Wow. <laughs> but it's a blessing. It's nice, it's really nice. And how do you feel like they are with you, like, in terms of like watching you in movies? And do they really look up to you and like, do you inspire them? Yeah, but they understand the struggle of it. So they say, Dad, yeah. we want to see where's the money at, man. It's just difficult. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, like, like, we're trying to build something right here. You get me? Where's the bad guy? You get me? Baby Bob saying, you're paying all these films and you're always up and down, dude. Where's the money? <laughs> I'm investing in myself. Nobody invested oh in me, gosh. so, so I just be just be easy, man. I got you, man. No worry, man. I'm the rebound, man. I told you, man. I got you. Because how you. old you old this? Twenty six. Gonna be twenty six the end of this year. So do you feel like you're going through the journey now, and you got them, and they're kind of like with you now? Like, yeah, yeah but they know it is the boys. So once they get this, is the thing about boys, mm. boys once they get to a certain age, they're doing their thing. True. Mm. They're experiencing their own life. They're having True. their own girlfriends. They're building their own stuff. So once they get to a certain age, they yeah. kind of out there and doing whatever they're doing. And you yeah. gotta let them be free. Yeah, that's. I feel like that's the best way don't to be over them let them do what they need to do yeah. and figure it out and for yourself and learn, learn. Yeah. Yeah. boys do don't, don't be they? there if you need them to be like a cushion if you you know if they need you but let them experience life just guide them on the right path and once they're doing something constructive let them do what they're doing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do awesome. any of them want to act like you <laughs> I, got, I think day day wouldn't mind doing the acting so mm. he's a rapper slash actor he's got it here he's kind of yeah, he's, okay. got, he's definitely got my blood. He's definitely my blood. He's <laughs> <laughs> a whole lot of energy. Yeah. Whole There's lot. always one that you can see yourself yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. I, I see myself in all of them, but yeah. him there is kind of, because he likes, he don't mind the camera. Most of them, they'll, they'll kind of shy away from it or not mm. really interested in it or not. Don't care. It's like, yeah, bring he it on. loves it. <laughs> but when he's a baby, he used to just sit there with his cap on and just watch, listen to my rap music and he's, oh. he's watching me. So you'll see him now and he's doing exactly the same thing. But yeah, to this day. Oh, that yeah. is nice. Let's soon turn your granddad, you wait. Mm, mm. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm not yet. Yeah, that's mm. the truth. But I was thinking situation. that actually. Mm. You've got yeah. really big You're kids like that. But you know what it is? They're, they're seeing the struggle so they ain't in no rush to have no babies. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We ain't doing that. Though. We ain't doing with all the baby mom going crazy and all the rest of it. And they heard their mamas, they get me there. They heard their mom trying to beat me up and bully me. And oh, I saw it go. <laughs> I just had flashbacks then of um, that scene in one day. It's all real, baby. <laughs> When they're all on the drive. When they're all, when they're all, it's, it's, it's come all to your mama's house. It's all real, baby. Come outside. He's fighting out there. What the fuck's going on? Baby, mama's like, scrapping it outside the house and like, flat the window. Like, oh, no, chill out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's all real, baby. Yeah. It's too much. It's too much. Crazy, crazy <laughs> lifestyle. I wouldn't, I don't, it's not for everybody. No. I'm a man that believes in polygamy because I'm not going to get too into it because I had the conversation right the other day, but I do believe like, that is the way forward. Women need to, like, men are going to be men and women need to have some understanding how men are. That's why we're always getting caught for cheating and it, this and that. It's kind of true, though. It is we true. We do need to understand more. I think yeah. feel like sometimes women's expectations are very, very high. Mm -hmm. um, and 
we and, we know it happens. And the cheating is it's the cheating's mad. So let me be yeah. me and let's have an understanding. This is our little group. This is them. Let's be our, each other's support system, and this is how it's going to go. But you've got to tell them that from the beginning. That's how oh. it needs to be. That's what I'm saying. So the man, we need to have give the women understanding. Of, yeah. Get because they understand how we're going to be. Can anyway. you repeat that line again? Men, <laughs> you have to give them the. Do you get me the heads up from the get go? This is how I'm living, and this is what I do. Because it helps, circle, man. And this, yeah. is the, and this is this person. Everybody knows everybody. Even if we don't have to get along with each other, no. just everybody just knows what's going on. So we're in this little circle, and then this is what we're doing yeah. right here, and that is it. You know, like that. Communication is so important, yeah, and is. I had this conversation with you the other night, didn't mm-hmm. I? Because somebody wasn't communicating that kind mm-hmm, of thing with mm-hmm, me, mm-hmm. and I just thought, you know, like it, if I'm being real with you, you gotta be real with me. You know, it's, we, we, men, don't men, like men, men don't want to hurt you in it, and obviously mm. with how this is, how the Western society puts it, it's <laughs> kind of like we're gonna hurt you if you say this, and we're gonna say that, and we, but women are like, they're kinda, or they're gonna lose you. You're gonna lose you. We're gonna Ooh. lose you. Exactly. Mm. So. The, and the, you like, don't understand that we can love, I can love you and I can love you. My love for you is not, it's different. Yeah. But I still got love for you and you, you know, yeah. like that. And that's so what that's it is. that's where we don't understand, understand it. Because you're like, how can never, you love more than one person? person you could yeah. never, but you have to understand this. The ratio of men to woman is seven to one. <laughs> if you was all to have a boyfriend, you would have to share us anyway. The way God made the place, this is how it is. If I put a female plant in, if oh, I put a male, male plant in this room and it's full of female plants, <laughs> this one male plant is going to impregnate the whole room. This mm. is just facts. This is just the law. This is how this is how life continues. Like I said, you like can be pregnant for nine months. Anyhow. I can continue the human race going <laughs> and I can, can impregnate it's true. this. So it's true. there's it's a true. science true. behind it. So if we're going to look deeper, then we have to look into the science of it all. Well, yeah. yes, that's a whole other conversation, but you're like, no, you're right. Back on. you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> no, Michelle, it is, it is a good conversation to have, though, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and get that male perspective. Mm-hmm, that's what it is. Understanding. Mm. understanding. You couldn't do that. What? <laughs> have, the, under, have some understanding. <laughs> no, I can, I, can, I can understand that. I mean, I've, I feel like I've been like This is the truth of the situation. You're in a, most women are in a polygamous relationship. And they anyway. don't even know about and it. They don't even know about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's true. And I'm telling the truth. You see, to be in each other's face every day, all day, you're going to get sick of each other anyway. So mm-hmm. everybody have their space. And I can't wait to see you. I usually like, don't understand it's how true. it works, but it's just it's how it true. works. I can't explain that to you. But if I'm not here every day, no matter what, I can't wait to see you when I'm coming to see you. I'm going to get <laughs> yeah. excited to you. Yeah. But I'm in oh, bloody hell, I have to come home from work to see this woman again. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even make the bed, you come out of the house and blah, blah, blah. Now I come over, do you think I haven't been at work? Whoa. You know, it really is right. We feel the same way too, innit? But yeah. we just act like we still need to see you regardless. Yeah. Yeah. Like we yeah, force but, ourselves. Yeah, and but then you're still going to, you see, when you don't see them for that certain amount of time, yeah, yeah. that couple, two, three days, and makes a difference. When you come in. Yeah, I can't mm-hmm. wait to see you. Do, you know, have that excitement. So true. True. You have to keep, the, you have to keep yeah. that going in life. But there's mm-hmm. a whole lot more to it, but we can have that conversation in a different day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nah, Michelle said that because she knows I don't like sharing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I'm just not, a, 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 I don't, if somebody. Well, but you see what I got with you, I can't have with her because you're mm-hmm. you. Mm. I can't have what I've yeah, got with you. Yeah, everybody's individual, yeah, yeah. so you're going to love something about one woman. Not not specific, just you. Yeah. I'm gonna love you, and I'm gonna and what um, my energy and whatever my time with you is because you're you. I can't explain it, but it is that. Mm. And they're them, and they're them. There's no, there's no sharing, nothing. Everything with you is still special. I feel like I could do it if I'm Queen B. But you are though. That's every. You have to understand. There is a. If you, if the man, if they're doing it, they have to make sure you look after you. Everybody the same. And same. You get me. You yeah, can't yeah, be giving yeah. this time and doing this and that. Make sure you're splitting everything equally, bro. You get me. That's the reality of it. You get me. Make anybody. Everybody I mean, special. We'll just feel like we're always on the same level as somebody else, and we don't no, always want to feel like no, that. No, like I said, my time with you is special. It's unique. Everything. My, my moments with you. Everything's different. Man. Well, I hear that. Yeah. I hear that. Yeah, <laughs> understanding, like, it's magical with, you, with your man and that. You, nobody can't have that moment with you. She, she can't experience that with you because it's mine in your time. Exactly. And my more magical moment with you, she can't experience because that's mine in your time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, give it, I, give I it about rules, 40 more years. Rules, when I'm, I'm just, you know, you get me. Just playing the game, man. Right? <laughs> he just got rid of marriage and everything, yeah. boy. Everything gone. Yeah, no, <laughs> well, I feel like if you've got your circle and that like, you stay in your circle and we grow together, we build together. This is how, like, the, the, it's only the Western world that lives like this everywhere yeah. else. This is normal. They build communities. The wives look after the kids true. and you get me in. It's just a support system. Emotionally, like, men are not built like women. We don't think like you women. So we're no, not we emotional. Don't. We don't. We we are emotional, but we can't. We can't. Like <laughs> some men are over emotional. I'm not gonna. Let me take that back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But some. But they even are. then, you, it's, there's a there's a level of certain things and understanding that you women can have that I can't yeah. have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you, you understand it? So That's it's true. good to have a circle. You've got kids and all of that. There's a support system for everybody. Mm-hmm. All right. Then this one's. We need all the kids to come over here because she's sick or whatever. Or this is going on or that's going on. It, it works. Yeah. And yeah. there is a science behind it. Does work and it makes the community stronger and yeah. better. But it's just the Western world. They want to get us to sign contracts and give away money and this, that, and the third and. All these other things. Is that what a marriage is? A contract? It is. <laughs> it is. You
what happens, that's what I was thinking, what else happens on this day apart from me spending all this money on this day, we're going to have all of this fun. I think Everybody's people home eat. in on the day too much. The yeah. most important bit is the contract signing yeah. that nobody else sees when you two and you and your husband go behind yeah, you. You go behind the, yeah, and that's, and that's true. Yeah, that's actually true, you know. You that get a little photo you taken, you get to put in the album, yeah, but yeah, nobody sees it. that bit. But when legally, but anything important. happens legally <laughs> in this world, now you, it's all on you, baby. You're taking on the whole of my problems and I'm taking on the whole of your problems. Yeah, that's what it is. You understand it? The government just knows somebody's going to pay this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, oh. that's what the government's thinking somebody's going to pay for this you get me because in the in, you know like in the vows and when the vicar's talking mm -hmm. and it's all joining two souls together and rather two hearts mm -hmm. and it's more than that yeah. the bank it's accounts, the bank accounts yeah. it's all the legal they don't talk about all that side they don't so you get me all the debts it makes my debts it sound all debts. sweet in the vows and stuff but then when you deep it really is it's, like you say a contract a you're right contract is business right. it's business you get me if you can't afford it somebody one of the two one of you's gonna have to sort life out and get it done that is just <laughs> what it is I mean, these people are wicked it's nothing to do with love no 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 you're right yeah, yeah. you are right but moving forward dylan mm -hmm. okay, what's maybe. next for you what's next so this film trapping's dropping and i've got some mm. other stuff that i'm in the in the midst of writing and whatnot so i just need to get some of this money back from trapping yeah and yeah. then we go again and yes but this one's kind you of a can do a film on the polygamy thing this is this is my new the new film is called player player so you never know we're gonna have all of that in there but it's it, it kind of tells a different kind of story but it's yeah. more of a rom-com comedy kind of thing okay. that I've got going on, so i can see you doing that because you're quite wedding, jokey yeah. jokey yeah yeah, yeah. yeah yeah it's about a wedding kind of stuff and then like they're going like a wedding anniversary and then they go, go away together like, like best friends man together. Kinda, yeah, yeah. and everybody holiday, goes yeah kinda. but nice. no the women's family friends and goers and his friend and um, family and friends go so it's both <laughs> their family and friends so it's just a madness so you get me okay yeah. <laughs> i want to shoot you on, in 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 the in the Caribbean, but we'll see how that works out. Mm, so, yeah. in the nice. Caribbean. I wanted to ask you about that mm -hmm. actually. Going back to when you did like Intent to and that, what was it like going over to Jamaica and filming that and oh. working with like the legendary uh, Louis Rankin? Oh my, my gosh. God, I love him. Nice. Rest in what peace, Louis. Like? Yes, yeah, rest yeah. in peace. Yeah, it was what a was madness. Like? So, yeah, so they hit me up and said, We're filming in Jamaica. I was like, Jamaica, you get me? So I'm thinking, All right, cool. So, I, for me, it was a brilliant experience. Yeah, I've been to Jamaica for ages as well. So, I went over there. It was relaxing. It wasn't like I was working at all. It, it was, wouldn't be. It was amazing. It would not be. Mm. All the different sites and all the things that we've seen and how it was and just the everybody's together like just we get this about three four weeks in jamaica that's locked in obviously nice. you have your arguments because everybody's on top of everybody but it's a whole different vibe because you're shooting a movie that's what happens yeah. around the film set everybody becomes kind of family so yeah. Yeah. like you're with your family and having this great experience louis was just going crazy and uh, is he sent, really like how he is on the film listen to me me and louis got kicked out of the hotel <laughs> <laughs> everybody i didn't know i was getting kicked out everybody's gone filming you get me so on the day after the day after that you get me me and louis in the hotel and that next thing i'm here on my door, you have to leave, you know. Me, leave! <laughs> you get me like, making too much noise because we had oh, some dear. plush hotel and that where all the, um, where all the um, pilots come in that so they want to sleep oh. and whatnot. This brother Louis, his voice goes through the whole building. Oh my that voice is his voice all day, I every love day, him. constantly. Oh so he's, he's, he's not acting like no. he's, that's just this how he is. is. How he is. I it's love him, man. All he day, cracks every day. me up. It's just one bag of people and he's got the whole place like a party, a dance, continuous for the day. There's people all in the hallways, weed smoking, boom, bam, boom, women, oh, this, that, and that. It's wild, 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 wild. And you get me, so the, the, the hotel waited for everybody to go. They must have thought it was just Louis left in this and the fan left and found that I was in there. They kicked me out as well. So me and Louis had to go to some next hotel. Come back, everybody, where are you? They kicked us out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it was all right because we stayed with the um with the crew was but yeah man nice Great experience, memories man nice memories, memories man memories like and to I say you've worked with the legend like you yeah. as well man. popcorn as well like, yeah, yeah. yeah so when we're going to jamaica you know he's got jamaica yeah he's got all the jamaica so it's beer motorbikes and convoys My and days. all what you've seen going on in um in the film that was all going on in real life it's just all me? real life all real life you get me beer bashment parties strip club this that and the third all night every was wild Jamaica was wild, man. Why? What happened in Jamaica has to stay in Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great experience, man. Aww. Great experience. Well, that's good. But there's been more to come now, isn't there? Definitely. With, With all the new films intent, coming intent out. Intent number three coming real soon, man. Mm. I'm sure we're going back. You never we're know, We're going man. in for three, yeah? Going in for going three, for free. yeah. We're going in for three because yeah. part two was kind of messed up because it, was, it wasn't, the script wasn't meant to be like that. So it was kind of all over the place because mm. Scorch was meant to be and obviously went to jail and then yeah. <laughs> they had to, they got the bag and then we had to like, you know, make it happen rapidly. So mm. yeah, we had to change things around, but yeah. Mm. So three is meant to come out when? We haven't shot it yet. Not Fingers sure. crossed. After we finish dealing with the trapping, because the producers are still Nikki and Femi on, on trapping the movie. Kind of yeah. like I said, we've got our in-house team. Yeah. So as we finish all of this, I think the next project probably will be 
in ten oh, Busy man. man. Busy, yeah. busy, busy, Very busy, busy. Grinding, grinding, dream chasing, baby. Mm. <laughs> Gotta make it happen. Yeah. Well, on our show, we really like to um, do a music section. Mm-hmm. Um, but obviously we're not going to get to do one today mm-hmm. uh, but we do want to know what you're listening to at the moment what's yeah. playing yeah. in your car in your drop top two seater <laughs> <laughs> just come off a band ladies ready <laughs> it's another conversation for another day but yeah what I'm listening at the moment um, I'm still on the Nipsey I'm still on my Nipsey I'm finding it hard to find an artist that can kind of top him kind of right now because no. I'm getting older yeah. I'm still listening to all my old school stuff as well so yeah it's more, like I said, a whole lot of R&B and whatnot. But Adam, um, Alex Isley, is that, is that her name? Alex oh, Isley. Yes. I'm listening Very to Alex nice. Isley and Ico. Have you like, heard of I'm one of the greatest, that is a value, that is a Yeah, bonus. you know what? So, she really can sing. Yeah, yeah, she, she touches my soul. I'm listening to Enaiko. Yeah. I'm listening to a lot of Mazzy. You get me, Mazzy is my, as, a, as a rapper, is one of, one of my favorite mm. UK rappers, Abracadabra. You get me? Nice. Um, um, yeah, but... Mm, yeah, that's a really where I'm going with right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's my that's my go to at the moment. And what mm. about your old school? Old school. Me, I'm still listening to Mary J. Life, mm-hmm. you get me. Um, yeah. Mary J. Everything old school, all the old school R and black. You're a sweet school. boy at heart, aren't you? Yeah, you like that R and B? I'm a lover boy, man. I'm a, I'm a lover boy, man. Yeah, I love a bit of. Um, yeah, weekend as well. Mm. Weekend, something about his music. Oh, can't stand weekend. Yeah, I preferred something. him before he became Famous. commercial. Yeah, that's what it yeah. was. Before he came commercial, that yeah, old yeah, school yeah. stuff. First so that's exactly what's happened though. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was, I'm feeling all of that. But, mm. um, as for old school, yeah, a lot of old school hip hop. I'm still listening to Tupac. I'm still listening. We was listening to Snoop and all that in there earlier. How do you get me? I'm still listening to all Mas- Master P, Hot Boys, um, yeah. Cash Money, okay. all of that from back in the day. So yeah, yeah. Man. I'm listening to a lot of that. But yeah. Loving it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, then. Mm-hmm. I feel like we've kind of took you, you know, yeah. been taken on a journey yeah. with you. Yeah. yeah. Of course, it's we just have. introduction. I'm going to come back. It's like when the film drops yes. and that, I'm going to come back and Definitely invite you, you back to, to the premiere. He's like, I'm more than welcome to come to the oh, premiere. Of course, so be amazing. I'm a, I'm a guy, a civ head. So when you see me doing this, hit me up and I will send you the tickets and whatnot. But mm-hmm. just make sure when you see me active, make sure I'm not sending you the tickets. We know where you are now, so we'll come to your office. Where's the ticket there? Come, come, come. <laughs> Make sure you turn up. I might just do a screening in Birmingham, truthfully, as well, to yeah. see how it goes and that, yeah. So. You kind of have but to, you don't need you? to because yeah. it's where you're from and you've got so many And all the activity that's happened this year in Birmingham. You yeah. kind of have to give them some love. Of course, in I, it. Will. Yeah. I will. Yeah. I will. And like I said, big up the Commonwealth Games anyway for you. Me, oh my, my God. It's been amazing. But they've brought to the city, the vibe that they brought to the city. And big oh, up yeah, the Birmingham man. people for behaving yourselves and whatnot. Yes. And even the other day, I seen a big event in um, Aston Park, and I was thinking a few they years behaved. ago, they would never, they would ever, never, ever no. let you. They wouldn't even let you have that. The event. formula was just right, though, wasn't it? Yeah, so it was brilliant, man. Big up the Birmingham people, man. You've got doing good, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. I see it's big. Definitely. We can do a whole lot of things. We have to behave ourselves. So let them know where they can find you on social media. Yeah. All right, you can hit me up on Dylan A. Duffus on Instagram and Facebook. It's Dylan Duffus as well on, Inst- on Facebook. Um, I don't really do any more social media as I should, but I just see my But you've, you've got a website and everything. Yeah, I've got a web- camo, website, camo, www.camovodka.co, and we can hit us up on Camo Vodka on Instagram you get me for all your inquiries and whatnot it's next day delivery if you can't have to go to the shop I will be able your stuff will be delivered gonna deliver it in his drop top you know pal we biggie 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 you never know <laughs> Yeah. So what special uh, we have to give for the delivery? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. We haven't got a quote of the week, have we, so? Mm-hmm. So just leave the people then with a word of word inspiration. Of wis- yeah, wisdom and inspiration. Thoughts become things. Control your thoughts, people, and chase your dreams and be all you can be. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that. Nice. Nice, shout and sweet. Yeah, straight to the point. <laughs> Well, thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you so for much. having me. Thank it's you. Been great. Like That's I said, this is the warm up. Next time we're gonna have, yeah, a, we're gonna do this again. We're gonna give you a cheers, man. To your new movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, this being a great episode. Yes. Mm-hmm. And yeah, just greatness. Yeah, yes. just greatness Excellence. in general. Excellent. <laughs> cheers, Thank you, guys. Empresses. Thank you. Love, light and blessings, Bye. people. Bye. Bye. Peace. <laughs>